What's the best breakfast on the earth? Idli. Nutritious food in the world. We hear that taste and health don't go together. Well, once you discover Idli, you will realize that you can have delicious along with good health. Its nutrient quotient is so high that it has been recommended by several organizations in the world, including World Health Organization. Idli is one of the best Indian inventions in the world. It is two to three inches in diameter and consists of fermented black lentils and rice. Don't get fooled by its simple looks. Idli is a nutrient powerhouse. It is rich in carbohydrates, proteins, enzymes, fats, amino acids, and fiber, and contains no saturated fat and no cholesterol. According to the doctor, Idli is a complete food that can be eaten with varieties of side dishes, which can run in the thousands. It is easily digested and can be eaten by anyone. From small babies to the old man, healthy people to those who don't even have teeth. So go ahead, include Idli in your daily diet and enjoy the taste with health. Idli, the most nutritious and complete food from a great country called India. You can stop it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Great. So I'll probably start the session with uh, maybe five minutes on my background and uh, then move on to the Italy business and then talk about the challenges and the mistakes that we did. I think, yeah. <laughs> so, I was very unlucky that I was not from Coimbatore and I didn't have MBA in the Coimbatore name as doctor had. So I had no option other than going to an MBA school. Thank you, sir. <coughs> so about me, a school dropout who failed in sixth standard, a person from a very remote village. My dad was a coolie worker. Um, education was not given any importance in my village. There was no sc school in my village. There were no roads in my village. There were no electricity in my village. I'm unfortunately, I don't have a photo of the village with me now hopefully next time. So um, poverty was part of our life and uh, three time meal a day was a luxury in my life, those days. Was very poor in studies, failed in sixth, dropped out of school. Then one teacher, those days, uh, teacher Matthew felt he could probably motivate me and uh, bring, bring me back to school. And of course, my dad supported it. By doing it, my sixth standard twice, somehow I came out as a topper in seventh standard. And uh, there were no schools nearby for me to do my so-called higher education, which is a high school stunt, high school those days. I had to work almost eight kilometers a day to my nearby high school and came out in flying colors in 10th who became a topper in the, in the district during those days. <laughs> Generally didn't stop there, I went, um, preached Calicut for the first time. And by the way, I hail from a very remote village in a place called Vainart, a very beautiful place. If you have not visited, you must. I reached Calicut. Um, joined a place called Faru College, probably some of you would you know that. And out there, um, you know, they had, they had a, you know, a special scheme for poor kids, wherein the rich kids used to support or sponsor free meal for the poor kids. And I was lucky to be part of that poor kids scheme. Did my um, entrance, uh, appeared for entrance exam and came out in flying colors in the entrance exam. Got admission in RSC Calicut, which is NAT these days. Got a campus offer 
from Motorola during those days, reached in Bangalore. And probably that was the first time I'm, I was leaving Kerala during those days. Uh, soon after joining Motorola, <coughs> I, had, I was lucky that I was able to take a flight to Ireland sub to support some of the operations in Ireland. Worked in Ireland for a while, then moved to Citibank in Middle East. Worked to Citibank for almost seven years and decided to come back to India. Decided to come back to India for some specific reasons. I think that's where I, put, I put probably start my journey out here. One, I wanted to spend some more time with my parents. Second, I was probably, I mean, I, I wanted to pursue my high studies during my, after my engineering, but with the condition of the family, it was very difficult for me. So I wanted to pursue my high studies. Third, I wanted to see how can I contribute back to society. So came back, uh, was lucky, very lucky, I would say, to have cracked the so-called IAM entrance exams and uh, did my engineering, sorry, did my MBA from IAM Bangalore. At the same time, I was having chat with my childhood friends who used to be my cousins as well to do something different in my life, in our life. And that's how the concept of the brand ID was born. Um, there was a, uh, my cousin was running a very, uh, you know, a small scale Kirana store in a place called Indranagar, Indranagar in Bangalore. That was a time, there was a, um, the batter supplier, the Idli Dosa batter supplier, who used to um, pack batter, Idli Dosa batter in a plain pouch with a rubber band on top and uh, supply to him on a daily basis. And he was getting regular quality complaint from the customers and uh, a lot of hygiene risk as well. When he brought up this issue to us, we thought there is an opportunity for us to get in. And that's how we tried. And today, we are there in nine cities with a range of products that you can see out there. And uh, we cater to a million Italy on a daily basis today in the market. We started with a one crore business year one. We are probably valued at a thousand crore in the market today. But uh, <clears throat> it took us just eight years to do it. The teamwork really played out there. The dream, I mean, this is just a journey. I think there is no destiny. If you just look at the batter or Italy business in Coimbatore, I, I strongly believe, let's, let's talk about probably, what's the uh, Coimbatore population around 30 lakhs? 30, 40 lakhs? 20. How many, how many Idlis Coimbatore see it on, on a weekly, on a daily basis? Three times a day or four times a day? <laughs> right? So easily, I would say three to four times in a week, right? And three to four at least in a, in a week, in, in, in a meal, that's a 500 crore business. 500 crore Italy business in Coimbatore. So what are you waiting for? Opportunity is there. So we, we just started our operation in, in Bangalore, then expanded to adjacent cities. We are coming to Coimbatore soon. In April, we'll be launching our operation in Coimbatore. So that's about the journey, uh, my personal journey. It was, it was a great experience as well, learning many things throughout this. So maybe um, next, are we okay on time? So this, we okay on time? Okay, so I'll probably spend next 10 minutes to take you through the story of ID and uh, don't look at what we've done, when done right. I think maybe look at what we have done wrong. Because don't make the same mistake that we have done earlier. Why, why reinvent it? 
So, um, so the, the first thing is, um, as I told you earlier, we ensure that the 100% natural food reaches the household without making any compromise on the food, without, without taking any credit away from the homemaker. So we don't do idli, but we do idli better. So um, these are the few things that you probably may not learn in MBA schools, but from our experience. The biggest challenge for us was when we started as a family business. We had to, if you had to create a thousand crore business, it cannot be handled by, it cannot be handled as a family business. We had to professionalize it. So what do you do with your co-founders? How do you, you know, marry uh, you know, co-founders or, or the entrepreneurs with the professionals? Out there, I think we played that very s differently and you know, very safely as well, wherein we created a, you know, entrepreneur uh, team within within the team ID, and slowly transitioned the entrepreneurs to that that role, which is a more of an entrepreneur role, and brought in professionals to manage the business as usual, and that is paying off very well for us because, so you see the you know innovation within ID happening on a on a regular basis, and then you see the team being handled professionally by the experts. 